Jean, what is most important for your company in 2019? Um, I think the most important thing is that we buy the right stocks at the right price. Um, we look at um, a method of investing called uh, GARP, growth at a reasonable price. Uh, and that's something I will be looking at very carefully and making sure that the forecasts for certain companies are still um, where we think they should be and that that makes sense. Um, I think also not being distracted by political noise will be extremely important for me as a mid-cap UK investor. Um, and you know that's something that uh, one always has to work on because there's always a new headline popping up on your phone or um, on the screen. So um, I think that's you know staying focused, keeping our eyes on the individual companies um, and not being distracted will be the most important things yeah. for us in 2019. I think we could all be distracted by the negative news at the moment. But yeah, that's a good thing. Keep focused. Simon, what's important for your company in 2019? Um, I think much the same. If, if the trade dispute um, quartens down or even looks as though it's heading for some sort of resolution, uh, we think most, most of the companies we invest in have uh, well-formed plans. Uh, they just haven't um, signalled go yet. Uh, they're waiting for the uncertainty to reduce a little bit. And so uh, I don't think it would take much for, an, uh, much for reduction in the political headlines for companies to get on, put their longer term uh, investments in place. And that should do a lot of the stocks that we put in the portfolio uh, a huge amount of good, uh, particularly at the valuations that they're now trading on. Right. So they've got to get on and get on with it. Yep. Peter. Peter, is, I have to say, is our longest serving manager in the investment company industry at 36 years. Very interested to know what's most important for your investment company in 2019. Well, I think there are two things. One which hasn't been mentioned yet is liquidity. Liquidity has been more challenging on a continuing basis for the last 10 years. Um, and I think that there will be a lot of opportunities to buy assets from distressed sellers when we get a bear market. Um, and therefore, it's very important to have dry powder that is available to take advantage of those opportunities. Um, but more generally, the outlook is such that, that um, by far the most important thing for us is to make sure that our clients' capital is maintained in real terms after costs. Um, it is not a time to be ambitious. There have been times to be ambitious. Uh, uh, back in the in the 80s, when we were making uh, close on 50% returns in a year, uh, that was fun. Uh, but now is not such a time. Maybe we'll get back then. So capital preservation. Basically. Capital preservation is key. But all of you focusing on opportunities too, as they come available. <laughs>